Hi everyone, in this video we'll talk about spectral lines and how they are related to the Doppler shift in astronomy. So we recently learned that every element releases or absorbs a unique set of spectral lines. If we were to look at a set of spectral lines in a lab or on planet Earth where the element is not moving, we would see every element has an emissions absorption spectra that is the same no matter what. So if we look here at the standard spectrum, the black lines that show up here are the absorption, absorption spectra for this element. This is how this element would always appear in a lab. However, when we see these elements, coming from the light and from distant stars, we notice that this pattern, this pattern of black lines in the emissions or absorption spectra appears to be a little bit shifted in one way or another. So notice here the pattern of black lines in the lab analysis of this element. And then when we look at this same element, when its light appears, coming from the Virgo A galaxy, notice the same pattern is shifted over a little bit. It's the same exact pattern of black lines. They're spaced apart the same amount, but they are shifted over to the right a little bit. Or in this case, as we notice this shift, the black lines are shifted over more towards the red direction. This spectra lines are showing a red shift. Again, notice the lines, the pattern of absorption is shifted over a little bit towards the red end of the spectrum. So this galaxy shows a red shift and that tells us that this galaxy is moving away from the Earth. If we again compare another galaxy, in this case, we have the Andromeda galaxy, and we compare the spectral lines for this element from the Andromeda galaxy to, again, we're comparing it again to the standard spectrum. Every time that we look at the spectral lines from a galaxy, we need to compare it to a standard or to what we see in a lab here on Earth. So again, we have the standard spectrum at the top, and we want to compare the Andromeda galaxy to the standard spectrum to see if the Andromeda galaxy is moving. So again, we see this pattern of the absorption lines. We see that same pattern in the Andromeda galaxy. However, again, they appear to be shifted. This time, notice that the lines are shifted to the left or in this case towards the violet or blue end of the spectrum. So in this case this galaxy shows a blue shift because the absorption lines have shifted towards the blue end of the electromagnetic spectrum. Let's look at a practice regions problem related to this idea. This problem says the diagram below represents the light spectra given off by the same element as observed under two different conditions. Spectrum A was observed when that element was heated in a laboratory. Spectrum B shows the same element as seen in the light from a distant star. The question says the light spectra observed from this distant star shows A. So let's look at the set of spectra that was given to us, and we have to compare the spectrum of the star to the spectrum in the laboratory. So we see that same pattern. We have four black lines. And here we can tell that the lines were shifted slightly to the right, or in this case, shifted to the red end of the spectrum. The lines have moved over slightly to the red end of the spectrum. 
In this case, this star is showing a red shift. And we know that if a star shows a red shift, the wavelength is getting longer. And if the wavelength is getting longer, that means that that star is moving away from Earth. So in this case, my answer choice would be answer A, redshift, which indicates that the star is moving away from Earth. And again, we know this because when we look at the set of spectral lines in the distant star compared to the laboratory, the lines show the same pattern, but they have shifted in this direction over towards the red end of the spectrum.